Hello beautiful Geminis, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. Hope you enjoyed the speed shuffle for your convenience. This reading is all about the uncharted sea. So you have a new experience coming in, something that's very novel, something that's going to rock your world. You're going to have a lot of emotional depth at this time in love. We have the energy of it is what it is. So what we see is a lot of stars, a lot of beautiful mysticism and energy around your relationship. And it is exactly what you think it is. It is what it is. And what we see with a closed door is that we have to learn as lovers and to expect to have closed doors that when we are getting to know somebody when we are open to intimacy you know it is kind of an adventure and that we don't know where it's going to take us and it's so important to honor the boundaries of other people and to take our time to recognize that things are what they are and to be at peace and happy with them that's how we find our manifestation the royal you. Ooh, you are going to have some beautiful experiences here, Gemini. So what is going on with our Gemini friends? I am a Gemini. I spy Gemini. So let's go ahead and clarify this beautiful reading you have in front of you. The Ace of Coins. Beautiful energy of an offer coming in. So we have a lot of love interest here in this reading. It's very powerful. So the Ace of Coins is oftentimes, well, it is a, an offer in the um, material realm. It's like when somebody says, let's go to dinner or let's move in or let's get married or, you know, it's an offer where they bring themselves to the table with this Ace of Coins and that is the overall energy. So you have judgment, somebody making a decision. Gemini, that you are the one, somebody who wants a victory with you, somebody who is ready to make that, take that leap of faith into the future. They feel very confident with that judgment card. It is Scorpio energy. They're looking for transformation. They want a victory, and we see this victory is here also as your outcome card. So winner, winner, chicken dinner, but you know, it's a win-win in love when it works out. So we get the devil card here, and the devil card is codependency. The devil card is oftentimes when we feel that things have to be our way to make them happy, and it is what it is. So the lesson here is to go with the flow, to let go of demands and sort of holding people hostage. You know, we see this devil energy, beautiful devil with holding this person as a puppet on a string. So it does speak to the fact that in the recent past, both of you are holding on very tightly to the relationship. We see this beautiful energy of wealth, abundance, legacy relationship. The two of you are very transfixed on having success not only in love but having an abundant life together the ten of coins is uh, virgo energy and it is coupled with this beautiful energy of capricorn so when we look at capricorn and virgo we see two people who are on the same page in terms of your value system and your determination to get there when we get the energy of oops excuse me hold on one second we get the energy of the chariot card. It's honey, I'm home. You, both of you know exactly what you want in this relationship. Both of you are very outspoken. Both of you are charging ahead. And both of you are determined to make this work. We see the beautiful death card of transformation. Again, judgment card, leaving singlehood behind. You know, moving into this arena of the two of cups, the four of wands a victory in love, love itself with the planet Venus and this beautiful Empress card. So it speaks to the fact that this is a transformative love that you are coming into at this time or in the recent past. We have the energy of the Page of Pentacles. 
you are at a crossroads as a as two people who care about each other deeply you the both of you are at a crossroads and we see this desire to make a small investment you know it could be like well let's spend every you know weekend together it could be you know after a while let's move in together let's go on a vacation together but it's making tangible plans to do things in the relationship the king of pentacles energy with all of this energy of the ten of pentacles the capricorn energy the chariot card speaks to the fact that both of you want a relationship of abundance once again you're willing to work for it it's taurus energy it's very stable energy so gemini you know you must have some many of you will have earth in your chart somewhere the Knight of Swords says that your person rushes towards you very quickly. They are taking the action of letting you know their intentions, the truth, the light. They have the intention of having a relationship with you. This is a bride and groom uh, in the Rider weight deck uh, holding hands. This is Two of Cups, Cancerian energy, being tender with one another, being best friends with one another, having, this is your intimate person, your soulmate, again, of the Minor Arcana. But when we get this, you know, somebody's rushing in, I feel, possibly to make a proposal. Uh, it can be proposing anything, but I think that at a minimum what I'm seeing here, you know, what I'm picking up on is that your person's going to propose that the two of you live together, that you become a very public couple. This is sort of announcing things to the world, being in the spotlight. You know, we have the Six of Wands here also, victory card. So it's energy that is unmistakably driven to win in love. Okay, so the Four of Wands is here. They see you as stability, as happiness, as joy, as their twin flame soulmate, building a foundation with them. And we see material gain, Nine of Pentacles. So they view you as a person who is absolutely top-notch pre-empress, empress, that you are in this energy, Gemini, of being absolutely a person that they would, that they see as desirable. You know, we get that twin flame card, 1111. That is a bride and groom dancing under the garland. This is a wedding tent. And that is, you know, the energy of the celebration going on around you. So your person really sees you in the best of light, Gemini. They see you as the one the one for them. We have this beautiful energy here of the Eight of Coins, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, so now we have the Queen and King of Pentacles. So in your heart space, your person wants to nurture you. They want to work on the relationship. They want to create a home together, a life together, possibly have children together. Um, but we see this energy that your person is very nurturing, very loving, and they are definitely very determined to make this work we have the unstable effect of the seven of swords here the page of swords and the seven of swords are showing me that your person spies on you a lot i don't necessarily i don't like the seven of swords and the energy because it really speaks to the fact that your person might be very jealous um, they may see friends of yours in a light that isn't really quite accurate. So it does look like your person is uh, spying on you and looking at things you may, for which you may be unaware. Um, they have a, a bit of a, when they get jealous, your person seems to have a bit of a temper, you know, not very happy with it. Well, who would be, right? But the Ace of Wands speaks very highly to the fact that you're going to have a passionate new start with them. They want to go in a new direction with you. The Ace of Wands is all about let's do this, let's do that, let's take action, what are we going to do? And so it speaks to the fact that your person engages with you at a very physical, emotional, and a direct way. And the Ace of Wands is beautiful. It's all about that ignition point in the relationship. The Tower card. Okay, so I have something to say here. When we get the Tower card with the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Swords and the Page, I would say be very, very careful about what you post on social media. Your person is watching it maybe with much too much 
a determination that this is going to tell them some secret about you. Your person looks as though they're insecure. It looks as though they're worried. And it also looks as though they've gone through a period of instability. So what I see is, in my opinion, this represents devil energy also, is that this person is looking for things that could cause an argument and may well cause an argument. The tower card is stability. And when the tower comes down, it indicates an area of your relationship that must be worked on. And to me with that, the devil card and those cards of what looks appears to be jealousy, a little bit sort of stalkerish. I feel like your person has been hurt in the past. I feel as though they learned about it on social media. And I feel as though when they look about their own truth and rushing in to tell you how much they love you, you know, they're very much uh, bent on making sure they're not having an illusion about your caring for them. They want to have a really clear head that you're in it to win it with them and they're very determined. And if they don't feel that way, this person would bring the tower down. But right now we see that there could be an argument or disagreement about social media posts, what you post, what you don't post, uh, that sort of thing. So when we look at the energy of the five of pentacles, your person is very afraid, as are you, of being left in the cold. But that's only a worry card. It's an it's somewhat illusionary because I don't know. Is it, we have Mercury going direct? Thank heavens, I can't speak. But it's it, the five of coins is a bit of an illusion. And so what I see with the five of coins is we see two people walking. They, it's in the snow, crutches, no shoes, no coats. And right there is a church, which is a sanctuary. So it does speak to the fact that in this relationship between the two of you, sometimes there is a, a sense of worry that should not or need not exist. We get the eight of coins. Both of you are doing the work. Look at this magician, Gemini. There you are in your reading. It, you know, there's magic in this relationship. There is creation in the relationship. And it speaks to the fact that both of you are doing the work because this is the hidden energy in your connection. So both of you are very much looking for the truth, wanting to do the work. And it speaks to the fact that you have all the tools to make this relationship work, that both of you feel very excited about it. Okay, so I'm going to put these back in here. I had a bunch of cards fall out. All right, so we have, for the Empress card, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So right now, the relationship is new enough that Spirit is saying, look it. You know, don't count your chickens before they're hatched. Don't count your pentacles before they've produced fruit. But what it does say is put in the work so that you can get your, your love, your divine love. The Empress is all about the manifestation of love. Spirit is saying, hang in there. This is a very special, special relationship. So let's look and see why we have the Six of Wands. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. The Hermit card, okay, so that's an interesting card. Really thinking a lot, being very much up in your head, but with Virgo energy. How do we bring the relationship together? How do we make it work? We get the Four of Pentacles, the two of you holding on to each other. We do get the Knight of Wands, though. That energy is not pleasing to me because it can really... Um, unsettle the stability of the relationship we have the knight of wands we have the knight of swords uh and we have the chariot the, excuse me the death card so this transformation that's taking place right now is one in which i think there's been a sort of a, a relationship in which one of you came into this very determined to have things turn out a, a certain way and that's fine you know we all want what we want but the nine of swords the Knight, yes, the Nine of Swords with the, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups does speak to the fact with the King of Swords energy that there is a lot of emotion, but when we get that many Knights, we don't get the stability that I would like to see. It looks as though, and tell me if I'm right in the comments, as though this relationship is a very beautiful relationship, but does present 
this sort of feeling of uncharted water here. You're definitely in uncharted water. The person you're dealing with is going to treat you like royalty. They absolutely see the divinity in you, the divinity in the relationship. But when we get this person looks very, very fixed, that whatever their ideas are, that they're very attached to those ideas in a way that may prove to be inflexible. So let's look and see what the energy is here for your advice, okay? Let's look and see what is the advice for our beautiful Gemini friend with that devil energy. Tell us about the devil energy and what Gemini needs to know about that energy. Let's cut the deck here. We're going to get three cards, past, present, future. Okay, past. So in the past, you have, Gemini, had relationships in which people tried to, I would say, control you. And it made you very aware that you feel this sort of very watery, uncharted sea energy here. Um, we see that for the present time, King of Pentacles energy, there is a stabilizing effect that you bring to the relationship. The Two of Coins speaks to the fact that you are not going to be pushed or coerced or coaxed or seduced, really, into making a decision prematurely. So I feel as though this is a great adventure that you're on. I feel as though this is quite an unusual relationship for you. I feel very much that the two of you are in the energy with that Ace of Coins of really uh, making a long-term commitment here. So let's see what we have. What is the, What are the qualities that a uh, Gemini's person likes about them best? Okay, let's look at this. What is it they like about you best, Gemini? What does your person like about you best? What is the energy that Gemini's person likes about them best? Page of Pentacles. They love your enthusiasm. They very much love the way that you're open to life, that you want to have new things, that you keep a very youthful spirit. But Gemini, you are youthful forever. What else do they like about you? The Nine of Pentacles energy. They see you as a person who is, again, pre-empress, very much pre-empress energy. The Ace of Swords, look at clarifying the Ace of Swords. They feel as though you are on the same page with them in terms of truth-telling. They see you as a rock star. Look at that, the star card. They see you as a person who's very elevated, who's very elegant, a person who's very much the energy of uh, being the spiritual warrior that ha is beautiful inside, beautiful outside, and loves very deeply. So when we look at their heart space, in their heart space, the, what is surprising them is that they are haunted by the Three of Swords energy. So that is the devil energy that's being exposed. Your person wants to control the destiny of this relationship because of the death card on an old relationship, old wounds that are not healed. So when we get that energy... Um, we really have to be quite aware that your person is a wounded warrior here. So tell us more about how Gemini plays into this. Your person sees you as the healing to their wound, okay? So the strength card is beautiful. It's courageous. That's how they see you. But it's important to remember that as we are walking through the journey of love, that it's not another person's responsibility to heal our wounds. We have to do that. We have to do the work for ourselves. We have to definitely have the strength and the courage. Your person does have that, and they're very much inspired by you, Gemini. The Ten of Cups, you are there happily ever after. Your person feels very much this joy, this eternity, this sort of infinity to this Piscean energy. We have Leo energy here. You know, we have the energy of, um, you know, the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. When we look at what's hidden in the dark spaces between the two of you, the Five of Swords, your person was not treated well by someone in the past. They do have that fear, but it's only a fear, so it's re important to remember that. Your person also feels as though Six of Wands making the third appearance 
in this reading. Six of Wands, Six of Wands, Six of Wands under there. So your person feels as though you are sort of the antidote to the, to the virus of having a broken heart and being around somebody who is manipulative. So they do see you as having healing energy. The Two of Swords speaks to the fact that you have to be very careful not to be in a codependent situation. You have to not allow this person to latch on to you as a healer because you will lose lover status. So that is the advice that Spirit is giving you in terms of what this person, how they hold you in what regard. When Spirit is looking at the message for your person, what do they love about you? You have gone to hell and back Gemini because we see the death card twice we see this person is looking to you to transform some and help them with the way that they've gone through their lives you're um it looks like you might be ahead of them on the journey of life you know there might be an age difference but probably not too much of one but what we're seeing here is that they see you as a person who has transformed transcended transmuted the queen of swords that you have had wounds that you have risen above you've used your intellect and they really respect you for that so when they when they really look at you gemini they feel as though you're really an incredibly gorgeous strong powerful person the seven of cups also tells me that is living with her head in the clouds so your person is they're a bit needy with the five of pentacles or they can be in moments but this speaks to their old wound we have pisces energy the seven of cups here uh, is scorpio and pisces energy and what we see is your person has been left out in the cold before and they're not really um they don't always understand the dynamics that go on between the two of you um, but they're very very success oriented with you so gemini this is an exciting reading your person is very much uh they adore you they love you they bring a lot of strength to the table themselves very hard working person but that's what i have for your reading cindy you love from chicago send some back tell me where you're from thanks so much hope to see you in another video soon bye bye gemini